Luke, okay. what are you going to demonstrate to us? Well, I'd like to demonstrate uh, our iPaaS and our ability to support any patterns using B2B, API management, orchestration, our cloud integration hub, and data integration. So let me show it to you, okay? In this scenario, payments for this insurance broker can be processed either via EDI or via APIs. So let's first take the case where we are processing an order via uh, uh, EDI. First, we'll log into the, AP, the B2B gateway, and you're presented at the, uh, the, uh, the, the gateway. Let's look at the partners. The partners show you the list of partners that you are transacting with. We're next focusing on the, uh, the partner. I've picked the CD, uh, the EDFACT uh, capability. This partner is processing uh, EDI messages, and it'll be the invoice message that I'm receiving from the partner. It's a 99A, for those that are familiar. I'll have an ability to receive the data through the partner via file transfer, and then I can process it internally through a different uh, a variety of, of mechanisms. In this case, we're dropping uh, files on the, on the local file system. And if you look at the data integration capabilities that Ron showed you, you can then ingest the file and use that to integrate your application to, to process the order. And once you've processed the order, you have ability to be able to track the order that you're processing. Now, in this case, so we've got, we're using EDI to process the order. Now let's take the, the, the case where uh, your partners want to be able to in, interact with you with the APIs that you provide. The first, the first point that we're going to provide with our partner is access to our API gateway to the APIs that they're providing. So let's go look at API Manager. API Manager provides you a means by which to expose a set of APIs, your APIs, and to be able to select the ones you want to expose to your uh, partner by showing them as managed services. Once you have a managed service, like the payment request process that we're going to, service that we're going to, to expose, you select it. You can, you can have an ability to view the details of, of, the, of the service. I'm going to click on view details. Now you know you've got yourself a payment request a service. You can actually put rate limiting, so to be able, uh, be able to avoid the situation where your partners are just exaggerating in, in, or using your services without any control. By pro providing policies like rate, mailing, rate limiting policies and others that we're providing, you have ability to control that. Once you have access to, you've exposed the service, you may want to be able to monitor its activity and it's actually the logs that are there being, that, uh, that there, that's used. Finally, this API was, that's, that's basically exposed by the partner uh, to you, you're exposing to your partner using the API gateway, is actually built with uh, Informatica application integration. Application integration allows you to build processes that you expose as services. So uh, we've used, we're using the same uh, structure for, um, for managing the artifacts. Uh, in this orchestration, I'm going to use a, the Allscript ser uh, service to be able to make Pay, uh, the processing the actual payment. So let me click into all scripts. Here you see an all script process, an all script to get token, and a server connector to be able to deal to connect to the uh, all scripts backend system. The, those service connectors that you were referring to. Now let's go uh, switch over to payment processing. In payment processing, let's click that. I'm going to use look at uh, use a payment request uh, process to be able to orchestrate the set of activities from the time that I received a request via the API or listening to the file that might have been dropped on, on, by, the, by B2B to make a call to all scripts to be able to interact with all scripts to get some information for the payment that I'm, I'm doing. You have ability to uh, use, uh, use processes and simple ways to be able to interact and provide the inputs and the outputs so you don't have to work too hard. Get payment details calls an internal service to be able to get information about the, 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 the consumer that you're, for which you're, pro, you're providing, uh, uh, you're uh, processing the payment. And finally, because you will want as part of this payment process to be able to um, provide data to Cloud Integration Hub to be able to stage and, and propagate data to other consumers of, um, of the organization that may want to get data as, uh, as they need it. So here on the last step, I published a Cloud Integration Hub. Uh, finally, let's go look at the properties. Every process has a, a property page, but the most importantly, every process is a service. So when you build processes uh, with, uh, with the cloud application integration, you're building services that you can expose uh, through uh, the API gateway. And then finally, once, you, once you've done all of this, now we turn to Cloud Integration Hub. Cloud Integration Hub allows you to create the topics that you're going to use to push. I'm going to select the uh, uh, Allscript patient detail topic. 
Here we have the topic. It's receiving data from all scripts also, but it will be receiving it through APIs and then distributing it to other consumers of that, for example, for pa uh, patient detail information. If I drill into uh, the API uh, to the, 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 the publication, you'll see that it's, it's enabled and it's going to all scripts, but you'll notice here a little checkbox that says publish data within API. In other words, the way that we do the, the transfer of information is through PubSub mechanism through APIs and, 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 and the like. Once you've, once you've deployed this and you're executing your APIs, you are able to track, them, the, uh, track the information so that you can control and, and to verify that the people that you expect, the systems that you expect to process, are processing the information. And finally, who are, when you consume it, you can either consume full or delta. So if you look at this, you, look, you should look at it from a perspective. I've got lots of rich integration patterns. I, uh, either APIs or I'm managing files or I'm pu putting, uh, pushing things through um, uh, store and forward through cloud integration hub. And we're able then to, uh, to, to, to integrate these various systems. The last leg is actually distributing and pushing data to systems that need to be able to uh, receive data sets. How do we do that? If we look, drill in to get uh, the patient detail billing uh, capability, you'll note here that we are using a, uh, a cloud task called a patient de a details task to push the data. Let's switch now to uh, uh, data integration. In data integration, you use the same, again, the same uh, artifact repository. You click through the, the patient details task. You're presented a, a very simple wizard that where you process six steps, you know, taking from your input and mapping your data and you're done. So in this demo, I demonstrated how you can receive payments through EDI, through APIs, how to orchestrate that through various systems to be able to land it through Cloud Integration Hub. As I'm working through it, I'm calling APIs and then finally using data integration to push uh, the data to our, our providers and, and the various uh, uh, companies that need to be able to get that information. Thank you very, very much, Luke. You're welcome. Cheers. This was a very impressive demo, especially because it kind of uh, completed the picture of any pattern. We have seen in five minutes how Luke is actually demonstrating a variety of integration patterns, all of them from a single iPass. So we've looked into how Informatica reimagined.